Welcome back, pickers. I'm here, the Vintage Picking Mama, at the Fancy Flea in Plant City, Florida. I am so, so excited about this event today. As I said in my other videos, this event is held about four times a year in Central Florida. And I am just so excited to be back here. This event was actually canceled yesterday because of tornado warning. So we're here right now, and it is going to be a blast. So let's go find some fun. I'm glad you guys tuned in. So we just went ahead and got past through the gate. We're gonna start all the way over here to the side. Usually what happens is we usually have some of our smalls in this area, followed by the furniture over here, and then more of the food. And you can hear that music already towards the back. So let's get going and let's start picking. So she always looks at me and she's like, why is cotton become this huge thing? And I'm like, I don't know, but I love it. Uh, I've got all the signs. look to see who the booth owner is and see if we can get them to chat with us for a bit. Hey pickers, we're back at the Fancy Fleet in Central Florida. We found some folks here at this lovely, lovely booth. Can you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves? Stacy, my name is Bentley. And what is the name of your store? Okay, our store is uh, Lena Maxi, and it is named after our great granddad on each side of the family. Lena was Stacy's great, great, or great grandmother. And uh, Maxie was the last name of my great -grand. See, that's awesome. You guys, you know I love any time that there's a link to the past or a link to former generations. Although my grandma won't let me ever use her name because Evelyn <laughs> Imogene doesn't really sound that great, you know. So you guys are lucky that you have some that sound awesome. Right. Um, so how long have you guys been doing Fancy Fleet? Is this your first year? No, we were um, fifth, year? fifth year. We did the original down in Lakeland. Mm -hmm. And then the Fancy Fleet moved here to the Strawberry Grounds. And uh, we've been doing this since. Wow! You guys are pros by now. I don't know if you'd call us pros. <laughs> it's different every year. Right. So, right. Some years it's really, really hot. If you guys are from another area up north, down here in Florida, we don't know what we're getting in November. So it could be, it could be as hot as Hades, y'all. It could be sweating for us big girls, or it could be nice and breezy right now where I'm walking thinking, I can walk a little faster today. It's pretty nice. <laughs> So you guys, tell me what you love about Fancy Fleet. What's your number one reason that you guys love to come back and set up your beautiful booth here? We see some of these people that come to our booth only here. Because they come from all over. Um, all the surrounding people. Right. Yeah. yeah, we have people that drive in five or six hours just to come to the wow. and, and this is the only time each year we'll get to see them. Either uh, in November or in April. Well, it's nice because yeah. they can't make it to Riverview, but this is... So it's kind of like a reunion. It really it is. Yeah. 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 And they know our family, like our son. Right. Uh, usually we have paint demos out here. Oh, so I love the paint demo for you. Oh, really? That's right. awesome. Yeah. Okay, and finally, tell me what, if you could sum up vintage in one word about how it makes you feel, what would that be? Comfortable. That was, yeah. that was the word I would use. Yeah. You know? I've been doing this for a while and I've never heard anybody say that. Really? Mm -hmm. So I love that because I think vintage people think it has to be 
you know, highfalutin or fancy or something. No, it's supposed to be comfortable, which you're at home and relaxing. I love that. So thanks guys, we're gonna head on out. We really appreciate the folks here at Lena Magley letting us see all of their beautiful booths. So you guys check out some of our other vendors coming up soon. We are back. You're watching the Vintage Pick and Mama in Central Florida at the Fancy Flea, one of our favorite events. We have booth owner here, Christina. She has a gorgeous shop. I wish you guys could smell this because it smells so, so good. Honestly, my house with two boys do not smell, does not smell this good at all. <laughs> so could you tell me a little bit about your booth and what the name of it is? Motor called the Farm Swiss and Soap. We do a shop that's a bar type, so we try to do everything as natural as possible. We make everything ourselves. We milk our goats and we put it into the soap. We do do a lot of CBD products and try to give back to the community. That's awesome. So, wow, so you actually milk your own goats. Yes. So, you have like a goat farm? or yeah. do you go? Well, we have a goat farm. We have maybe about 10 goats. So how hard is it to milk a goat? It just takes time. You do it twice a day. Is it like the same thing as milking a cow or is it? Um, a little bit more down to the ground, a little bit more harder. Okay. Yeah. I've always wondered that because I have milked a cow, but it's a little bit different. Not a goat. Sometimes I'm afraid. I'm afraid they're going to headbutt me. <laughs> no, you actually can put them up on a, like a little chart thing and then okay. it holds them there so you don't have to hold them up. Okay. And what is your favorite scent? Because everything smells so yummy. Do you have a favorite um, one? This one right here. This would be my rosemary mint. Oh, anything like mint. Ooh, that is. You guys, it smells really, really good. <laughs> and how many years have you been coming to Fancy Tea? This is going to be my third year. Wow. So what brings you back time and time again? The customers. That's awesome. And then finally, because we are a vintage vlog, if you could describe vintage in one word about what it means to you, what do you think that would be? That's a hard one. One word. Isn't it tough? I know. Yeah. Some people are like, I gotta think about that. One word. I guess family. I would say family. I love that. One of my favorite answers. Well, thank you so much, Christina. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate you. your time. Thanks. So, we're here with another fabulous shop owner. Can you go ahead and introduce yourself? My name is Lori, and I have the fabulous Funky Monkey. I love that. I saw your cute little sign up there in Burlap, and I was like, that's so awesome. So, are you a first-time fancy fleet, or are you a No, we've been doing this for about three years now, and it's twice a year. That's awesome. And what brings you back time and time again? Uh, the people, it's just got a, such a buzz to it. With all the I keep hearing that. I keep hearing it's like a family reunion. And I'm like, that's awesome. And so tell me, how do you acquire most of your credits that you sell? Um, we, it's, it's a lot of work. We go right. to garage sales, estate sales, auctions. We shop online. There's a lot of outlets. Oh my god, you should see my house. I wish. <laughs> That's our next interview, folks. <laughs> if I want to keep anything, I have to get rid of something. That's what he's been saying, but I'm like, sneak some stuff in. <laughs> I can't do that. So what is your favorite uh, thing to purchase or to collect or to sell? Um, I like buying small vintage jewelry boxes, the wooden ones, and I like painting them and bringing them back to life. I sold out already today. Really? Oh, I would love to have seen one because that sounds so unique and cool. And then finally, if you could describe vintage in one word about what it means to you, what would that mean? 
And I so agree because I think that when something's weathered and lived in, it just gets better with me. Yeah, it, it has a good feeling to it. I totally agree. Well, thank you so much for being here. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thanks. Okay, so we are here with Mr. Randy, and he is a marketer for uh, different shows, and we're just going to ask him a couple questions. So tell me, how long have you been doing marketing for Vintage? When did it start for you? are great in Mount Dora. I do his Mount Dora shows and uh, the Florida Plywood. I don't know that one. That's the biggest uh, farm related show in the southern United States. It's four times a winter. So next weekend is the first one. Awesome. And it's like Renninger's except it's more geared towards farming and, and uh, tractors and old cars and things like that. Oh, we might have to do next week. I'm <laughs> serious. striking y'all I mean I was not kidding when I was like what is this it is vintage chippy Christmas love 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 did you go inside uh, girl I'm too heavy for that I'll let you it's like a playhouse I think I think I'll, a window. I think I'll let you so tell me a little bit about your brand and how this got started and what it means to you okay well this is literally my story. I'm a stay-at-home mom and I needed a little bit of extra cash. I lost my cash. My mima taught me to not waste anything when she taught me how to sew. Smart work. So I upcycle all my clothes and then I literally don't waste anything. I take all my scraps. I even made this out of my shirt scrap. I love it. So I, I make all of my patches for my hats. I just love to do it. It's fun. I love it. So tell me, Miss Gina, what is your style at home? Are you shabby, shabby, All of that. We made another best friend, y'all. Um, another everything fashion girl. Yes. yes, my favorite kind of fun. I love it. I love it. I love it. Y'all, you're going to hear her. But that's the coming up in the She said her. <laughs> she has dirt road, not you. <laughs> and finally, Miss Gina, if you could sum up what vintage means to you in one word, what do you think that would be? It's hard, right? I don't know. It's fun. It's fun. I would say fun. It makes I like me happy. It makes so, me smile. Me too. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. We appreciate your time. And you guys, we are finding so much. So let's just keep on talking. Bye. Bye, guys. I love to hear about how 
all the features of your fancy place. So we're here with Charlie, who is so snazzy and stylish. I love you. Love me some leather things. So go ahead and tell me, Miss Charlie, what did you think about this new fancy place? I thought it was spectacular. We came all the way from Bradenton. And we came last year, too, and we'll probably be here next year. That's awesome. Did you get any goodies? Did you get anything in particular? I thought I got my granddaughter a cute sweater and I bought tomorrow. I bought a piece of jewelry. Oh, they have some great jewelry here. So tell me, what brings you back time and time again to fancy? Well, I'm kind of a flea marketeer, so I try to hit them all. I like to hear that. And tell me, if you could describe in one word what vintage means to you, what do you think it means to you? I love that. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Charlie. It was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you, too. Y'all have fun. Hi, y'all. We're doing exit interviews to find out how our fans like this year's fancy flea. This is Miss Jeannie. We're just going to ask her a couple questions. So tell me, what was your overall review of this year's fancy flea? Loved it. Thumbs up. Did you have a particular favorite spot or something you're looking for today? Yeah, that's it. No, you're just anything and everything. That sounds like me. <laughs> and what's your style, do you think? Farmhouse, shabby chic, cottage? Probably farmhouse. Farmhouse. I'll have me some farmhouse, y'all. And are you going to be incorporating any vintage decor into your Christmas this year? Of course. And how are you going to do that? I like that too. I always say that a mix of old and new makes it look fresh, but you still get that classic look. Florals with the old. Yes, florals, y'all. Do we just become best friends? <laughs> sure. Maybe. So tell me, if you could describe vintage in one word about what it means to you, what would that be? Good memory. Good memory. Well, thank you, Miss Jeannie. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hi y'all, so we're back with some of our fans this year and we just wanted to ask you guys, all of y'all, what did you think about this year's event? Very good. Very, Very good. good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yes. We, we enjoyed it. You were here last year. Okay, and what brings you back each year? Just the fact of all the stuff that's been happening that it's really interesting to see. Doing Different. projects. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> I love these some horrible guys. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys going to be incorporating any vintage into your Christmas decor this year? I haven't thought about that. Good idea. You got a Christmas thing right there, I do have a Christmas thing. Oh, there you go. So you already have starting. And if you guys could tell me, finally, what vintage means to you? Starting with you, sir. And you, miss? That was my answer, too. Well, mine would be distressed. Oh, I like that. Distressed. And interesting. And interesting. Well, thanks, y'all. I'm glad you guys enjoyed this year's event. And look for us on YouTube. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hey, Pickers. Thanks for joining us today on our tour of Fancy Flea in Central Florida. This event is so near and dear to my heart, and I'm just thrilled that you guys joined us today. Um, I always like to give my reviews. I think this year had perfect, perfect weather. One thing I was really, really excited about after yesterday's tornado warning. Oops. Um, there were some great vendors out today. My best vendor award goes to Barefoot by Miss G. Gina's shop was amazing. If you guys remember, it was that cute little welded shop that looked like it was a little like train caboose. And I love her use of the word dirt road. Um, we saw a lot of Christmas inspired decor with roller skates, ice skates, and we saw windows. I hope you guys subscribe so you can join us. We take some more in-depth looks at some of our new friend shops in and around the area. Thanks for joining us, y'all. We'll see you at the Pick and Place.